Okay, I wanted to make this an informational video about my 1985 VT1100. I looked in the service information and there's some things that are really vague. Uh, and one of them, they have color coding for the pulsar circuits, but I really couldn't figure out how exactly it's wired. Well, if you look at the connector, we got one wire that has a blue stripe. That's the one that's closest to us here. That one is paired with this blue wire. The yellow wire is paired with the other wire in this connector. I checked it for resistance. This is the pulsar. The yellow wire is tied to the top pulsar right here. And the bottom one, which I have unbolted, is an OL open circuit uh, pulsar. I've got a new part ordered for that. But this piece of metal comes around and it triggers the pulsar. Let's the uh, ignition module know that the crankshaft is at the top of its stroke and the piston's at top dead center. This is an 85. The 85 and 86 models have a wire that goes into the head right there. That is the cam position pulsar. This one tests out at 1.045 mega ohms. That is way out of limits. So this motorcycle had no spark. Well, the front one, which is the bottom one right here, ask me how I know because I put it on there. I stuck a screwdriver down through the spark plug hole and I touched the top of the piston. I don't know if you can see it down in there or not. Probably not. But when it's pointing down, it is top dead center for the front piston. And when it's pointing here, it's top dead center for the back piston. So what I'm going to do, you notice there are two wires going into that. We have a yellow and a white. Well, I am going to use the yellow and the white wires from the, that same cylinder. And I'm just going to run an overlay with the two wires back to this connector. I'm probably just going to cut the wires off and splice into them and then plug it back into the wiring on the motorcycle. And that should give me a signal to fire that cylinder. Yeah, I haven't 100% tested this out yet, but... Uh, in theory, that's what I'm going to try. The problem is you can't find those cam position sensors anymore. They're just not available. It's an obsolete part. And you have to pull the engine out to change that. Now I'll tell you some of the pain and suffering I went through yesterday to get the side cover off. And that's no walk in the park. If you see down there, this is the side brace frame, whatever you want to call it. Well, to get that off, there is a bolt that goes through here, and it goes through the engine, and it goes out the other side. Well, some jackass engineer decided that the bolt needs to go out the other side, so that you have to take the exhaust off from both sides to remove the bolt. Yeah, so I had to take the exhaust pipes off of both sides. I got this side off okay. Kind of had to heat up the clamp a little bit and warm it up and wiggle it around. I got it pulled out of there. I thought, oh, this will be great. I just take off the exhaust pipe. I can loosen that pipe up, pull off the side cover, and boom, I'm there. Well, it wasn't that easy. So, anyway, I've got a pulser coming for a 97 VT1100 which looks the same as this one that I can put in there. And then I'll just splice into the wiring. I'll probably pull this sleeve back on here a ways and then uh, cut that back and splice it together and then put it back in there and check the gap and make sure everything's okay. I did have pulsers off of a VF750 that would be a Magna body style. 
and these would work just fine the problem is mounting it if you look there are just little tiny holes in there and the original one has these great big holes in it like that and nothing really lines up so I would have to refabricate some sort of a bracket that's why I thought well if I can go with a VT 1100 one um, and somebody had mentioned that they look the same and they also measure out the same for resistance uh, it should just drop right in there and work um, other than that wish me luck hope everything goes back together just fine and it'll work just like it's supposed to when I'm all done. <laughs>